Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing good. So I am back with the question from gate 2007 exam to help you with your preparation. This question is for two marks. Just have a look at the statement. They are saying, in a waveform A given below, a bit stream is encoded by Manchester encoding scheme. The same bit stream is encoded in a different coding scheme in waveform B. The bit stream and coding scheme are. Okay. So they are saying some bit pattern is encoded using Manchester encoding scheme and this waveform is what you get. What could be the bit pattern? Second thing that they are asking is if that same bit pattern is encoded into this waveform by using some encoding scheme, what could that encoding scheme be? Okay. Now this question is ambiguous because they haven't mentioned which standard for Manchester encoding has to be used. Is it the GE Thomas standard or IEEE standard? Now options also don't clarify anything. If you use this standard, whatever answer you are getting is present in the options. Similarly, if you solve according to IEEE standard, whatever answer you will get will also be present in the options. So two of the options are correct. That means this question is erroneous. Still we are going to solve it just for the sake of practice. So first let us solve according to the GE Thomas standard. In the standard, one is encoded by a transition from high voltage to low voltage. Okay. And zero is encoded in the opposite manner. So let's see what could be the bit pattern whose Manchester encoding is this. So first of all, we have a transition from high to low. That means this bit is one. This bit will be zero. So here the bit will be zero. Here also it is zero. Here also it is 0. Here also it is 1. So some of you might have noticed one thing. See, whatever is the value of this signal in starting of the clock cycle, we are trying to represent that bit only. See, here the value in this clock cycle, the value is 0. That means it will be 0. In GE Thomas standard, if you want to represent 0, you begin from low voltage and go to high voltage. And if you want to represent one, you begin from high voltage and whenever half of the clock cycle is reached, you transition to a low one. Okay. So here the voltage is high. That means it's one. Here also it is high one. Here also it is one. And here also it is one. So answer to the first question is this. Okay. This is the data that we encoded to get this waveform in Manchester encoding scheme. Now in second part, they are asking if this data is encoded into this waveform, what is the encoding scheme that could have been used? So let us see. Here one is represented by a transition from low to high. And here one is represented using a transition from high to low. That means there is no fixed representation of one. Similarly, you can see representation of zero is also not fixed. That means there is a very high chance that this encoding is differential Manchester encoding. Let us first now see what is differential Manchester encoding. Then we are going to verify is it the differential Manchester encoding or not. So suppose you want to encode 101110. So in starting you can begin with any transition. That means it could be either low to high or high to low. Suppose we started with high to low transition. Then to represent zero, you will just immediately change the value of signal. That means if you are currently at low, immediately go to high. And after half clock cycle, come back to that value only. Okay. Like this. Now you want to represent a one. Whenever you want to encode one, keep the value of signal as it is for half clock cycle. See the value here is low. Keep it low only for half clock cycle. After half clock cycle transition to different value. Okay. Now again you want to represent a 1. To represent 1 stay on this value only for half clock cycle. And after that transition. Now again the value is 1. That means stay here only. The value currently is low. Keep it low for half of the clock cycle. And after that transition to high. Okay. Now you want to represent a zero. Whenever you want to represent a zero, immediately make a transition to 
other value that means currently we were uh, sending high signal immediately transition to low for half of the time stay there only and then come back to the value from where we started we started from high we are again at high so this is differential manchester encoding let us verify if same thing is happening here so for the first bit you can start with high to low transition or low to high transition it does not really matter in differential manchester encoding okay suppose they are starting with high to low transition next bit that we want to represent as zero for zero you very well know that in starting of clock cycle only we will make a transition current value is low just make a transition to high and always always in the middle of bit that means when half of the clock cycle has elapsed always we are going to make a transition whether it is differential manchester or manchester see everywhere in middle of the bit we are making a transition here also there is a transition here also here also whatever be the current value you just change it when you reach in middle of bit so here we wanted to represent a zero zero says immediately change the value we changed it to high and anyways there will be a transition in middle of bit so we'll reach back to that value only from where we started similarly you can see till here we are doing the same thing now we want to represent a one one means whatever value you are currently sending currently we are sending low one says keep it low only for half of the clock cycle and in middle of clock cycle anyways we are going to make a transition so after half clock cycle just change the value okay so you can verify this is differential manchester encoding so according to ge thomas scheme this is the bit pattern and this encoding scheme will be differential manchester encoding okay you can see which option is correct probably it is option a now let's go according to ieee standard in ieee standard this pattern will be reversed so one will become zero zero will become a one so here you have a zero here it is one here also here also here also then you have a zero it will be one okay so now let us see what will be the answer if we use ieee standard according to the ieee standard the answer will be completely opposite of what we were getting according to ge thomas standard so i have complemented each and every bit you can see earlier according to ge thomas standard this was one now it is zero okay similarly each and every bit is complemented now let us see what encoding scheme can be used on this bit pattern to generate such a waveform this is again differential manchester encoding only so differential manchester encoding also has two definitions one definition i have already told you the other definition is completely opposite see earlier i told you whenever you want to represent a zero here we want to represent a zero so in starting of clock cycle only make a transition and anyways in middle of bit we always make a transition see in manchester and differential manchester whatever definition is being used in middle of bit there has to be a transition so zero is represented by two transition one transition in starting and other in middle okay but the next definition that i want to teach you it says that transition in starting represents a one and no transition in starting represents a zero okay so according to this definition you can see this data can be encoded into this waveform using differential manchester that means answer to this question is option a yeah option a is correct you can see this is what we got when we were solving it for the first time option a exactly matches except for the fact that there is one bit less in the options so last bit is missing anyways that could be a printing error and option b is also correct so both of the options have differential manchester okay